thank all of the 92 percenters out there, a.k.a. Swifties, who voted for us to win. <laughs> Travis Kelce and pop superstar girlfriend Taylor Swift were both named among the nominees for this year's Webby Awards, recognizing the best internet content and creators. The International Academy of Digital Arts and Sciences announced the nominees on Tuesday, the result of 13,000 entries from over 70 countries, according to the Associated Press. The Kansas City Chiefs star got a nomination in the Best Sports Podcast category for teaming up with his brother Jason for their New Heights podcast. Travis and his legendary Philadelphia Eagles Center brother are also nominated in the Best Co-Hosts category. Meanwhile, Swift shared an Instagram message encouraging her 283 million followers to register to vote was nominated in the Best Creator or Influencer category. The website she directed her fans to, the nonpartisanvote.org, recorded more than 35,000 registrations, according to the organization. The NFL's power couple aren't the only famous couple with Michelle Obama getting a nod for her The Light podcast, while her husband, former President Barack Obama, was nominated for his work with Lincoln. The awards are selected by the Academy, while the Webby People's Voice Award is voted on by fans around the world. Voting for that award is open now until April 18. Winners for all awards will be announced May 13 at a ceremony hosted by Late Night with Seth Meyers writer and comedian Amber Ruffin. Last November, the Kelsa's New Heights show was crowned Spotify's No. One sports podcast in the world for 2023. New Heights was also the top sports podcast in America and the top American football podcast in the U.S. per Spotify. The show's meteoric rise continued last month when the popular NFL Do Scooped Podcast of the Year at the iHeart Radio Awards. It beat out the likes of My Favorite Murder and Smartless to win Podcast of the Year. Neither brother was in attendance at the ceremony in Austin, Texas, but they did record a video message for the audience, in which Travis joked, Get the asterisk 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 out of here. People actually listen to this. Boudia reaches out to Jason Kels about WrestleMania 40 appearance. WrestleMania usually attracts celebrities from outside the usual pro wrestling bubble. This year's big event in Philly will be no different. WWE's WrestleMania 40 event will go down on April 6 and 7 at Lincoln Financial Field, home of the NFL's Philadelphia Eagles. It appears that the company is interested in bringing in some NFL representation for the show of shows. WWE has reached out to recently retired Philadelphia Eagles center Jason Kels for a potential appearance at WrestleMania. His NFL star brother Travis Kels also received an invitation. According to Fightful Select, WWE has initiated contact with numerous celebrities in anticipation of WrestleMania. WV has approached recently retired Philadelphia Eagle Center Jason Kels regarding a potential appearance at WrestleMania 40. Kels is very popular, particularly in Philadelphia. He also spent the past decade playing in Lincoln Financial Field. Jason Kels played 13 seasons in the NFL, and in every one of them, he was the starting center for the Eagles. At 36 years old, Kels also co-hosts a successful podcast alongside his brother Travis. Other celebrities at WrestleMania 40. Lil Wayne was on Raw this week, where he confirmed that he will be at WrestleMania 40. Wheezy will debut a new single, and since the Carter VI is coming soon, that could draw some mainstream attention. Drew Barrymore will also be at Mania. That will be a real treat for some fans, but you also never know who will show up in Philly at the show of shows. After all, The Rock has an extensive contact list as well. SE Scoots will have more on this story and so much more as we continue monitoring every development concerning WrestleMania 40. Keep checking back throughout the day for more headlines. 
Please don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to my YouTube channel, Jaxi N24. Thank you for watching. I think he's just so good at everything he tries. The wife of the retired NFL star told TODA Way Jason Kels officially hung up his cleats when he retired following a 13-year career that will most likely end with him getting inducted into the Pro Football Hall of Fame. And while the former Philadelphia Eagles center doesn't have to worry about protecting his quarterback anymore, he could be eyeing a new challenge. Wife Kelly Kels said he could wind up getting into sports casting. I think nothing is off the table at this point, she said April 1 on today when asked about the possibility. I think that he, I mean he's my husband so I'm biased, but I think he's just so good at everything he tries. It's kind of a pain in the butt. I think that nothing is off the table. He's an ideas guy, so I think he's just sort of letting them brew and see what happens. Kylie Kels, who shares three daughters under the age of five with her husband, says having something new to do would benefit him. He needs to get out of the... It's not that I need him to get out of the house. It's like he needs to get out of the house. I think that with three small children, I don't think golf is going to cut it, she said. Jason Kels has proven to be a magnetic presence on TV. Fans will long remember seeing him shirtless, while sitting with the crowd as brother Travis Kels, and the Kansas City Chiefs visited the Buffalo Bills during their run to the Super Bowl. Kelly Kels, who was on Toby A, to discuss her work as the senior event consultant for the Eagles Autism Foundation, said her husband had told her he was going to do it in advance. I was like, do we need to do that? And he was like, no, my shirt's coming off. And I was like, well, I guess his shirt's coming off. And then it did, she said. Jason Kelts can also show a softer side while the cameras are on him. He won raves for his retirement press conference, in which he teared up and thanked his wife. I think it's no coincidence I have enjoyed my best years of my career with Kali by my side, he said while announcing his retirement March 4. Every accolade I have ever received has come with her in my life. She has brought the best out of me through love, devotion, support, honesty, intelligence, and of course, a swift kick in the ass from time to time. Kylie Kelt said she had heard his speech before he delivered it to the rest of the world. He has been writing his retirement speech for years. He has been telling me he was going to retire since we started dating, which was like almost nine years ago, she said. She said he wanted to be very careful when crafting his words to express how he really felt and to make sure he paid homage to everyone who played a role in his football journey. I think he understood the impact of what football has been to his life, and I think he wanted to make sure that he accurately conveyed that to everyone else, she said. And I think it's a moment to give thanks to all the people that helped him along the way, and he truly contributes his journey to the coaches that he had, the people around him, every single teammate. So he really wanted to make sure it was correct, and I think it was an outstanding summary. Fans declare Kylie Kels a class act while speaking about Jason Kelsey's future on Today. The mom of three spoke candidly about what she hopes her daughters learn from their father's impressive NFL career. Kelly Kels has earned fans in her own right, and now they're gushing over her latest press appearance. The mother of three sat down with today's Hoda Cobb and Savannah Guthrie on Monday, April 1, and during their conversation, she touched upon the future of her husband, retired NFL star Jason Kels. Nothing is off the table, she said. I think he's an Adidas guy, so I think he's just sort of letting them bloom and see what happens. When asked by the morning show hosts about her need for Jason to get out of the house, Kylie seemingly has no preference on whether or not he entertains a remote career, but that she believes he would benefit from leaving their abode every once in a while. He needs to get out of the house, she choked. It's not that I need him to get out of the house, it's like he needs to get out of the house. I think that with three small children, I don't think playing golf is going to cut it. Cuddy added. 
As for their three daughters, Wet, Four, Eliot, Three, and Bennett, one Killy underscored that even though they're likely too young to remember watching their dad on the big screen, there are lessons that he'll carry through his life and hopefully pass on to their kids. Fan-made montage of Jason Kelsey's most memorable moments, set to a Taylor Swift song, will make you cry. I think that ultimately, it's not about them remembering that he played football. It's all the lessons that he got from football that he then gets to take with him, she shared. When he's recognized by people, and they approach him and they want to take a picture, our girls are too young to understand that like not everyone's dad has people stop him and want to take pictures. I hope that ultimately they end up understanding that their dad had an impact on Philadelphia in a way that was wholesome and that he understood the city and enough that he wanted to stay there and raise a family there and enough that he loves the people he worked with and will continue to love them. Kali continued and that he did things in the city for charities and things like that, he gave his blood, sweat, and tears to the city, and it was out of sheer love and commitment, and I hope that my girls see that. It was the latter part of her interview that had fans celebrating Kali. She is a class act, a third declared, a true Eagles fan and represents the city so well. She is my favorite Kels. Someone else wrote that she did an amazing job, adding, I'm so proud to be born an Eagles fan and as an aunt of an autistic child, so thankful for what they represent on and off the field. Please don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to my YouTube channel Jaxie N24. Thank you for watching.